Welcome to the e-learning module on WHO classification of non-epithelial tumors. In this section, I will be telling about germ cell tumor, dysterminoma, and yolk sac tumors. The objectives are to describe the pathology of dysterminoma and yolk sac tumors. Coming to dysterminoma, it is a primitive germ cell tumor. Uh, the incidence is 1 to 2 percent of all ovarian malignancies. Commonly, it is seen in children and young women of about 22 years age. They present with abdominal distension or mass. Uh, the serum markers for dysterminoma are LDH and FCG, and also they can present with paraneoplastic hypercalcemia. Most of the cases are unilateral, but 10% of these patients can present with bilateral tumor. On grass, they are more than 10 cm size, capsulated. On cut surface, they show lobulated architecture uh, and uh, fleshy areas. Areas of hemorrhage and uh, necrosis can also be seen. This is the gross picture of dysterminoma showing classic lobulated architecture and fleshy in appearance. On histopathology, uh, lobules of tumor cells can be seen. These tumor cells are large but monomorphic. They have abundant vacuolated cytoplasm and lobules are surrounded by fibrous septa which will show lymphocytic infiltration. And in 20% of the cases, it can be associated with epithelial cell granuloma also. So here you can see monomorphic cells which are uh, seen in lobules. Some of the cases, around 3% of the cases will have trophoblastic giant cell. So in this set of cases, there will be elevated HCG. On immunohistochemistry, uh, this is the first picture is CD117, which is showing cytoplasmic membrane positivity. Second one is AP4, which is nuclear marker. Third is SAL4, which is also a nuclear marker. LIN28, which is a cytoplasmic marker. And PLAP is a cytoplasmic membrane marker. All these markers are positive in this disterminal. Uh, the spread will be usually by direct uh, route or it can spread through the lymphatic with lymph node deposits. They have got very well response uh, for uh, chemotherapy. Prognosis is very good. 10 years survival is more than 90%. Uh, stage and size of the tumor are uh, important prognostic factor. Less than 10 centimeter size has got good prognosis. Recurrence are rare, but if it happens, it uh, usually seen in first few years. Coming to yolk sac tumor, which is a primitive germ cell tumor having various histologic pattern. So this germ cell can differentiate into severe uh, endodermal structures, including derivatives of extra embryonal tissue like uh, yolk sac and allantois or primitive gut mesenchyme or somatic tissue like intestine or liver. Previously, it was also known as primitive endodermal tumor or endodermal sinus tumor, but these terminologies are not used now. Majority of tumors are seen in children or adolescents. Uh, on gross, they are large, soft, well encapsulated lesion. And on cut surface, you can see fleshy areas with the large areas of necrosis and hemorrhage. This is the gross picture of yolk sac tumor, which is a large tumor with the areas of cystic chain, hemorrhage, and necrosis. On microscopy, there are various around 10 patterns. This is the picture showing macrocystic and microcystic pattern. Second is, which is seen in the reticular pattern. Second is a papillary pattern where you can also uh, see schiller dwell bodies. This is the polyvesicular vitellin pattern. This is the glandular pattern. Here you can see hepatic differentiation. This is mixoid pattern where it is having abundant mixoid stroma. Uh, this picture is showing pass positive hyaline globules within the cytoplasm. This is the classic Schiller dual body, SD bodies, which are seen in yolk sac tumor. They are not always seen, but whenever it is seen, it is very characteristic of yolk sac tumor. So, what are these SD bodies? They are cystic spaces with fibrovascular pore having single central vessel surrounded by tumor cells, these tumor cells will project into the cystic space. So these are characteristics of yolk sac tumor. On immunohistochemistry, uh, they are AFP positive and glipican 3 positive. Uh, SAL4 and LIN28 can also be positive, but they are negative for OCT4, which is a marker for dysterminoma. 
uh, it is negative for CD30 also, which is a marker for embryonal carcinoma. Prognosis uh, is bad as it is a highly aggressive tumor, but with chemotherapy, the survival rate is 80%. They can metastasize or they can present with local spread. So you can do the follow-up after treatment using serum AFP level. This is the immunohistochemistry images. First one is showing positivity for glipican 3 which is a specific marker for yolk sac tumor. Second is AFP focal positivity. Third is SAL4 nuclear positivity. And fourth is LIN28, which is a cytoplasmic marker. These are the references. Thank you.